I have taken 2 kgs of ginger and I will be adding water to this and soak it for about 2 to 3 hours. Soaking helps in peeling the ginger easily. The ginger should be fully soaked in water. Now I will scrape out the outer peel of this ginger. Since I had soaked it, you can see the peel comes out easily. My grandmom used to rub this with a washing stone. This is, that was an uh, olden day method. I have finished peeling the ginger. Now I will be putting this in another vessel and will be soaking it once again for about uh, 5 to 6 hours. Soaking again helps in grinding and chopping the ginger. Chop the ginger. The ginger has become very soft because of the soaking. This helps in easy grinding. In case you are using a manual grinding stone, you can just crush it using a pestle and then grind it. After soaking, I have washed the ginger once again and then chopped it into small bits. Now I am going to put it into the mixture and make a fine paste and extract the juice out of it. I have ground the ginger to a fine paste. Now I will be extracting the juice using a clean muslin cloth. Do not throw the residue because you have to grind it again. While adding, I have added little bit of uh, thin coconut milk so that it becomes easier to grind. So I will need this to grind it again. Since I had more ginger, I have ground it in two batches and this is the juice and here is the residue. Keep this aside for 30 minutes so that the residue settles down. I will grind the ginger residue along with onions and jeera to a fine paste. Since the quantity was more, again I will be doing it in. I have used 500 grams of onions and 30 grams of jeera. The ginger paste is ready. Now let's do the mixing. Watch this carefully. I will be adding only the juice. And you can see the white residue that is settled down at the bottom. So you can see the residue left is settled down. We call it al asosuno in Konkani. To this I am going to add the paste that I have ground. This paste is made up of ginger, jeera and 25% of onions.
to this i am adding the thick extract of the coconut milk that is i have used three coconuts finally i will add the onions this is about one and a half kg I'll mix it now. I will start cooking this, and once it is half cooked, I will add jaggery. I have started cooking the ginger now. So this will go on for two to three hours probably. Once it is half cooked, I will be adding jaggery and ghee. I have cooked this mixture for almost 1 hour. And now you can see it slightly thickened. So I will add the jaggery now. And again continue the process of cooking. After 3 hours of cooking, you can see the color is slightly changed and also it's become thicker and the quantity is also reduced. So now I will be adding 400 ml of ghee. I will continue my process of cooking till the color changes to dark brown. After 8 hours of cooking, the ginger medicine is almost ready. So how to uh, know that this is uh, almost done? So you can see the ghee has separated from the mixture and also the color so you can see the color here and also the mixture is uh, stopped splashing out so initially when you cook you have to take a lot of care so you can even tie a cloth to your fist so that you don't get uh, the mixture splashed on your hand so this is one of the thing you have to take care so now that is completely stopped so it's almost done so i will off the flame and uh, let it cool completely before I can store it in the jars.